Hey you guys, so I'm here to show you guys how to make my strawberry lemonade green tea. Everything's gonna be made from scratch, it's super healthy, and this is one of my favorite summer drinks. So this is the way that you can take hot tea and then turn it into cold iced tea, okay? So what you're gonna do is get a pack of strawberry green tea here. You guys can order it on the website. Again, the backs are clear, so you can definitely see everything. And so what I usually do when I'm going to make um, tea for iced tea, I get loose tea bags. And like I told you guys before, I prefer the brown ones because it's healthier and safer. So right now I have about three cups of water. It's already boiling on the stove. So what I'm gonna do is take a tablespoon of the strawberry green tea. You can see there's real chunks of strawberries and green tea here. So I'm going to go ahead and put it into the bag. So you're just gonna dump that in. And like I said before, the tea is very strong. It's very potent. So I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of the tea. So I have two tablespoons in this bag. And then basically you're just gonna tie the end so that way it doesn't leak out. And now you have a nice bag of tea. So I'm gonna go ahead and make another bag real quick. So now what I'm gonna do is drop this into a pot of boiling hot water and I put three cups of boiling hot water on the stove. Definitely boiling hot. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the stove and just let it seep. So now while we're waiting for the tea to finish seeping, we're gonna work on the lemons. So you can take three large lemons. These are from Trader Joe, they're organic or else you can take about six small lemons and get the same result. So I'm gonna use these three large lemons. Make sure you guys wash your fruit, okay? Before you guys cut into them or use them, make sure they're clean. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slice them open. And then I have an automatic juicer, I love this. I'm a big fan of juicing and this is the best way to, to juice citruses, especially if you have like, you know, arthritis or if you have, you know, hand issues, it's easier to have the machine do, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and juice here. make it stretch I kind of pour water on here just to you know drain the rest of those lemons that are sitting there and then you just take that apart I'm gonna set that off to the side here and all you're gonna do is pour your lemon juice into here so I'm gonna do is take this off of the stove and start pouring the ice in there to cool it down and be careful because it's hot you don't want anything hot splashing on you You can see the ice is already melting. So that's gonna bring it down to a more lukewarm temperature. And you can fish out those tea bags. They can come out now. And you can see they're like fully blown. They've seeped really well. Look how good they look. Full leaves. There's a big difference between our green tea and the kind that you buy in the store. Pull this out and the iced tea is nice and cool. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pour it, and pour it into a pitcher. So what I do, I save about a cup in there for a little bit more. And this is gonna be for me to boil my strawberries, okay? So now we can pour this strawberry green tea into the lemonade mixture and I'm gonna keep this in the refrigerator to cool. So like I said, you're gonna keep some of that strawberry green tea in the pot. So then what you're gonna do is add fresh strawberries. You're just gonna go ahead and drop them in. I already have them pre-cut up. And then this part, you can either add sugar, you can add honey, you can add agave, whatever you feel is what you wanna to add to it. And what I'm gonna do is put this back on the stove and allow the strawberries to boil. All right, so this took about 10 minutes to boil and it's really super sweet. It's almost like a liquid strawberry jam. This is the best way to make it from scratch. So now what you're going to do is basically strain everything. So you're gonna pour it into a strainer. You guys can see the strawberries right here. You wanna make sure you pour it into a bowl that can handle heat. You know, push down. 
So that way all the juice gets in there. And then what you can do is once everything strains down, you can use the strawberries that are left over for jam, for filling. Um, you can use it as an ice cream topper, yogurt topper. So you don't have to waste these strawberries at all. So before I pour this into here, because this is heat sensitive, I'm gonna drop a few ice cubes in the strawberry mixture just to cool it down a bit. So you're gonna drop the ice cubes in there and just kind of stir it in. It's nice and sweet and thick. Now what I like to do, because I feel like ice can tend to, you know, water down drinks. So what I do, I put frozen strawberries in there as ice cubes. So you're just gonna add a few of these and these will be like the ice cubes instead of using regular ice cubes. And it also makes it look really pretty as well. And then you'll also wanna go ahead and add some lemon slices. And then a mint. Mint also helps if you're having any type of stomach issues, any type of stomach ailments. And you just wanna stir everything around in there and it looks super beautiful. And if you wanna add a kick to it, you can also add some club soda to make it sparkling as well. That's what I prefer to do. And you can see it just fizzing and looking super good. And that is how you make your very own green tea ice lemonade. Oh my God, this is so good, y'all. And I know you guys are enjoying this right now at the tea lunch party. So this is how you guys can make it yourself at home. Everything is natural, made from scratch. Like I said, if you don't wanna use white sugar, feel free to use honey, agave, anything like that. Boil the strawberries so that way the strawberries, you know, soak in all the sugary goodness. But yeah, this is off the chain. I'm in love. 